What's up everyone, this is Jared Tech and today we are a review of the Snapchat Spectacles. So, let's get started. I've been using the Spectacles for several weeks now and testing them out and reviewing them just for you guys. I originally bought this pair when I was visiting New York City for a getaway weekend. Where I bought my Spectacles is a little bit different than how they usually do it with Snapchat with the random betting machines. So they gave out wristbands in the morning and it's a physical store. So I had to come back in the evening around 8.30 to 9. And I had to wait in line for a little bit and it had this really artsy feel to it. All white walls, ceilings, and then just had the vending machine all the way in the back and then a line. It was a really cool experience. Everyone was really happy to see and uh, get their spectacles. And this is just my review on them. For those of you that don't know what the spectacles are, they're a piece of wearable tech that Snapchat released. There's a camera inside the sunglasses that lets you take video and also pictures that you can later upload to Snapchat or you can just save them. The design and using the spectacles is really simple. There's only one button and that controls whether you're taking a video, picture, or checking the battery status of the sunglasses. There's a white LED indicator light in the inside of the sunglasses and this just lets you be aware if you're taking a video. The spectacles come in a variety of different colors, but unfortunately there's only one different shape and I find the look to be pretty goofy looking. I would get tons of different stares while wearing these out and about. There's a mic on the right side of the sunglasses for capturing videos. Right now we're just currently behind the setup for JR Tech and this is the type of audio and camera quality you that can expect while wearing these spectacles. As you can see the video and audio quality on the spectacles are pretty bad. It looks and sounds like you're recording a video that was taken off a phone from back in 2008. Especially if you're taking a picture or video that has a scenic backdrop or has a lot of distance between you and the picture, it looks super blurry. As you can tell right here, the trees and the mountains look really blurry. I know this is the first generation of the spectacles, but I'm really disappointed in the quality. The super low quality makes me just want to take pictures and videos using my phone, so if I later want to save them, they're a lot higher resolution. Setting up and using the spectacles is super easy. It's going to save all your pictures and videos in the memories of the Snapchat app itself. You are then able to look at all the pictures and videos that you took. It does take some time to sync up with your phone because it is using Bluetooth. But then later on you can look at the different videos, select the one you want, and just like a normal Snapchat, you could add the geo filters, the tags, and you could also add text, pictures, or any of that goodness like a regular Snapchat. The reason why the video is exported into a circle is that you can change your phone in different orientation so then you can track it. It's really cool when you're taking videos and pictures because you can notice things that you ordinarily wouldn't if you just took a vertical or horizontal picture. I really did enjoy this new feature and I thought it was a great way and a new dimension of viewing other Snapchats. The spectacles come in this 2-in-1 case that protects it but also charges the sunglasses. The case is very sturdy, I fell and wiped out several times while skiing and landed directly on the case with the sunglasses in the case and absolutely nothing happened to the sunglasses itself which I was very happy to find. The side just plugs right into the case itself and this is going to charge it. Another little cool feature is that it has a little button on the case and this just tells you what battery status is left. Overall I had a really positive experience while using the spectacles, it's really easy to set up and use. And I really like the new features of being able to tilt your phone back and forth. But because of the really low resolution, I didn't find myself using them as often as I would like. If I wanted to capture a picture or video, I would just take it on my phone. So if I later wanted to use that picture to upload to Facebook or whatever, it would be at a lot higher resolution. The spectacles really helped to capture what I experienced in the moment. And that was the best part I liked about them. I just clicked a button and then it would capture exactly what I saw in the experience. There's something about just seeing it exactly how you saw it through your own eyes. Exactly like skiing. I couldn't use the phone during the moment of skiing the rails because I definitely would have wiped out. So it was really cool that I could still capture the moment and then upload it directly to Snapchat for all my friends and family to see. That's where the spectacles really do shine is in situations that you wouldn't normally be able to use your phone and it makes it more immersive feel. Well that's it for the review of the Snapchat spectacles. If you guys did enjoy this video, please make sure to hit that like button. If you love the video, make sure to subscribe for more content. Leave a comment down below on what color you would pick up if you did buy the Snapchat Spectacles. If you already missed it, we did have a giveaway with the Snapchat Spectacles. If you want to make sure you don't miss out on any other cool giveaways coming up, especially because I'm reaching 100,000 subscribers, so there's going to be some pretty major giveaways, make sure to subscribe once again. I'll see you guys in the next one, and this is JR Tech, signing off. Peace.